Many Republicans, including Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, criticized the president's actions. Senator McConnell called him a weak commander in chief who should be focusing on terrorism instead. Monique Blair went to a Lexington gun shop today to get reaction. Bud's gun shop and range really Maybe won't be affected by President Obama's executive order America. because it's already a federal firearms license company, meaning everyone who tries to buy a gun from the company must pass a background check. The only thing that, that, that he had said, which I think some people must be taking out of context because context, it's not true, I don't know who he was referring to, was that online sales, you know, you forego a background check, which is not at all true. Although Bud's Gun Shop sells many products online, it will never ship a firearm to an individual. A person must physically come into the shop or Bud's will ship to another registered FFL holder. At that time, the dealer would then do an in-person background check on the buyer. President Obama's executive order states that anyone in the business of selling a firearm must register as a licensed dealer. It's a move he says will narrow the so-called gun show loophole. I have doubts that you know, some of the uh, in efforts will have the intended results. But I do understand, kind of like a business, if you are not exactly sure what to do, you need to do something and then evaluate the results later. Prior to President Obama's executive order, only federally licensed gun dealers were required to conduct background checks on buyers. The White House announced the FBI will hire 230 more examiners to process background checks. In Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. Since President Obama's election, the number of concealed handgun permits soared. Nationwide, the number went from 4.6 million in 2007 to 12.8 in 2015. It's estimated nearly 8% of Kentuckians have concealed carry permits.